The Senate passed what amounts to an $11 billion taxpayer-funded post office bailout yesterday. But get this, the post office doesn't even want it. The Postal Service is losing $25 million a day, and our next guest calls it generational theft. It breaks the Budget Control Act, and he's got a much better plan. Joining us now to talk about all this, we welcome back Tennessee Republican Senator Bob Corker. Mr. Corker, thank you, sir. So. This is going to break the Budget Control Act, which itself was no great shakes. This I don't get. This is irresponsible. And if I'm not mistaken, Republicans voted for this along with Democrats. The vote was 6237. Uh, in a bipartisan way, this bill passed. I think the whole world, certainly our nation, watched as our country almost came to a halt last August 2nd. And a deal was made where we would agree to cut discretionary spending by X amount. We capped spending in 2012 and 2013. And this bill already violate, vi violated that by $11 billion. I mean, I, I just, it, it's hard for me to see how anybody can have faith in the Senate. We can't even make it until May without breaking the Budget Control Act, which we, by the way, did in a small way with the highway bill that right. was passed also. Right, and May with the student loan bill also before that's all said and done. Let me just get this right. The post office, Mr. Donahue doesn't like this. He knows he's got to take, what, 100000 out of this thing before it's all said and done. You can't have first-class delivery on Saturday. There's got to be some structural changes for pensions and benefits okay. and I take it none of that is in this bill and that is an outrage. This bill actually handcuffs the Postmaster General more so than he was before and you know I, I think most if we just gave him a modicum of the kind of flexibility that businesses have he could turn this around but you know we tell him he cannot close locations we tell him he has to deliver mail six days a week uh, we tell him what he has to do as it relates to his labor negotiations we tell him all the things he has to do we won't allow him, by the way, uh, to raise rates, uh, you wouldn't believe the corporate welfare yeah. that takes place through the post office. I mean, the calls I was getting over an amendment to give the post office flexibility, which, by the way, would have saved the post office and taxpayers $21 billion. Right. This is when, your bill. This was my amendment. So we lay it out there, and Larry, you wouldn't believe the calls I got from the private sector who benefit so much from having the post office lose money and taking care of their mailings at a loss. And, and this bill, by the way, forces the post office to continue to take care of mailings for the private sector right. at a loss. At a loss. At the taxpayer's loss. It's email versus snail mail. Let me get this right. This is being hailed as a victory for the postal unions. They are stopping the layoffs. They stop the benefit restructurings. And they stop the uh, dollar reductions. Is that right? This is, a, this is a union victory and a taxpayer loss the you yourself call intergenerational theft. I would, I would actually call it a, a, a victory for many special interests at a tremendous loss to taxpayers. And uh, again, what we've done, this is, you know, Larry, we're watching this movie play out across the Atlantic. But basically what's happened in Western democracies is politicians have been giving citizens what they want without asking them to pay for, for it. Free. You, for free. For free. And so you look at what, this is exactly what we're doing with the post office. This is one of those things that Congress does to keep itself popular at the expense in of an taxpayers. Election. In an election. And, and I just Senate. hope the House will, will be more we ought to have than a what the Republican Hall of Fame. I want to I want to check. I didn't get a chance today. I want to check to see which Republicans voted for this because they ought to know better. And I'll bet you there's some good Democrats that do know better, but this is terrible. It's an outrage. Anyway, Senator Bob Corker, thank you very much. He's got a better bill that would save $21 billion, and that is the direction we're going in.